Hey guys, Jessica back here with IELTS Energy TV and um, this video today is inspired by a note, uh, a comment from a YouTube subscriber asking about the disadvantages of bicycles and I thought that's interesting. That's something that I never talk about. I mean, I live in Portland, Oregon. It's a huge bike town, right? Bike City, USA. Some people say it's a thing. Portland has a lot of nicknames. Anyway, um, so it got me thinking, this is one of those things you might have to speak or write about and having never have thought about it before, what vocabulary can we use? So I'm going to give you some vocab and phrases to use um, to explore this topic of advantages and disadvantages of bicycles. All right, here we go, guys. And as a side note, these words are useful for a lot of different topics, okay? So even if you're <laughs> not interested at all in learning how to talk about bicycles, don't turn this off. Keep watching. Okay, so first, what can we say about the disadvantages of bicycles? All right, um, in speaking, we can use the adjective clunky. Um, eh, clunky is like, it's, it's a bit difficult to carry around, right? Like you can't just lift it up and walk around with it, okay? It's clunky. It's not easy to move unless you're riding it. So clunky. That's slang only for speaking. Now, a similar word that can be used in speaking or writing is cumbersome. I love this adjective. Cumbersome is similar. Cumbersome is like, it's just difficult. It causes you problems. And you know, bicycles, again, they're not easy just to like put over your shoulder and walk up the stairs or like fit in an elevator. That's always <laughs> difficult. Okay, so cumbersome. Um, now, this last phrase is only for speaking. You could say, um, if I get a flat tire, I'm left high and dry. All right, idiom here, guys to be left high and dry. It means that you are abandoned with no solution, okay? You're just, there's nothing you can do in this situation. To be left high and dry. Now, let's look at um, the more common things we talk about, the advantages of bicycles. What's some vocab here? So, for speaking and writing, we could say, <laughs> I put together a very impressive uh, high-level phrase here, guys using self-created momentum to propel oneself. <laughs> I love it, I love words. Okay, so let's go through this. Um, self-created momentum. Momentum is the force of moving forward, right? The force. So you're on a bicycle, you're making this yourself. Self-created momentum to propel yourself. Propel means to push forward. Okay, so momentum is the force, propel is moving forward awesome vocabulary guys all right now last one just for speaking here we could say there's a lot to be said for simplifying or paring down one's transport options <laughs> I guess actually this could be used for writing as well so Wow, there's a whole bunch of noises happening outside. I don't know if you can hear that siren. Okay, so let's go through this a little bit. I really like introducing a sentence with, there's a lot to be said for, and then naming an advantage. That is fantastic. Um, we could use this in speaking and writing, okay? Um, Pairing down. It's a it's a phrasal verb, sure, but it's a high level interesting phrase for to simplify. Okay, so a lot of good vocab today, guys. Remember, write down two or three of these phrases, put them in your vocabulary notebooks, and practice using them in your own speaking and writing answers. Okay, if you want more tips and hints and tricks from me about how to get your highest score possible on your next exam, go to ielts.allearsenglish.com, check out our blog, and if you're ready to get into an organized system of strategies, check out our course at allearsenglish.com forward slash K-E-Y-S. Okay guys, that's it for me. I hope you're having a lovely day and I will see you in the next lesson.